Hello everyone and welcome to the Pennsylvania Highlands Community College On Demand Information Session for our Early Childhood Education and Child Development Programs. My name is Chris Farrell, I'm the Director of the Blair Center and we're here today to cover some of the details for these programs uh, and also discuss a little bit about the career fields that they represent. We will also talk about some academic resources that we have inside and outside of the classroom, as well as any next steps that you would need to take if this does seem like the right program for you. To cover this information, we have one of our awesome faculty members on the line, Morgan Dugan. Later, we will also have two recent graduates from these programs join us, Janelle Hanlon, and Nevin McIntosh Higgins, where they will share a little bit from their perspective. First up though, I wanna introduce Ms. Morgan Dugan. Morgan? Hi everyone, my name is Morgan Dugan. I'm the Early Childhood Education Professor at um, Penn Highlands Community College. I'm going into my third year here, and I'm going to share with you all of the different programs that we offer. So basically, if you take a look at this slide, this is uh, a career in education. Over to the left are our programs, and the programs that we offer are Child Development Associate Certificate, which is a nine credit program. We offer a Child Development Diploma, which is a 32 credit program. We offer the Child Development AAS, which is a full associate's degree in child development. We offer an Early Childhood Education Associate's degree um, in Early Childhood Education. And then we also offer the PA Director's Credential Certificate. I will be going into these um, programs individually and further so that you can understand the differences between the certificates, the diplomas, and um, the Director's Credential. Over here on the side is just a um, career, da career data that um, tells us the starting salary, um, the median salary of what you're looking to go for. So if you're going for an elementary school teacher, which is my background. Um, I have 12 years of experience in the public education system. Um, that is my forte is elementary school teacher. That's the top um, one up there. And then preschool teachers, there's a median salary there. Um, at the very, let me see if I can move our, that's here. At the very um, end of the table, there's the most common level of education. So you can kind of look at that too, what you need to get to these, um, to get to be a preschool teacher, to be an elementary school teacher or an admin uh, administrator, and it kind of goes down. Um, this is just a slide for you to refer to. So we'll go ahead and go to the next slide. All right, so I'm gonna start out talking to you today about the Early Childhood Education Associates degree. Um, basically, we use the NACI, the National Association of Education for Young Children, we, our whole program is built on the NACI uh, standards, and that's what's listed there in the gray and white, promoting child development and learning, building family and community relationships, observing, documenting, and assessing to support young children's families, using developmentally effective approaches to connect with children and families, um, using content knowledge to build meaningful curriculum, and then at the end, the last standard, standard six, is becoming a professional. In this program, we teach you based on those standards. We are. Um, our goal is for you to become a professional in the early childhood field. So we're gonna educate you and we're gonna teach you how. Um, so we uh, really pride ourselves in the NACI standards. And you can go ahead to the next. All right, so the Early Childhood Education Associate is for someone that's looking to become either a lead preschool teacher in a preschool program um, or an elementary teacher that they would want to teach kindergarten or pre pre-kindergarten the whole way until sixth grade. Um, so this is someone that says, I wanna go to college, I want to get my associates in early childhood, or I wanna go to college, I wanna get my associates, and I wanna transfer to a four-year college to become an elementary school teacher. So um, this is the program that you would want to go to if you would want to transfer to a four-year or you know that you wanna lead or head a preschool. Um, you can lead or head a preschool in a daycare facility or in, in a public education system or private education. So basically this is a 61 to 60, let's see, um, it's a 63 credit course right now. That can change over the years. It can flop from like 63 to 60 credits. Um, 
but we have an agreement with the 14 state schools with this. So you can transfer seamlessly to a four-year college um, with this degree, any public four-year. We just recently signed on with St. Francis, UPJ, and we're working on Juniata at, at the moment in Mount Aloysius as well to um, be able to transfer to the private facilities as well. So it's a really great program. It's transferable. Um, you do have to hold a 3.0 G, uh, grade point average to stay in the program. Um, but, and then you will take your teaching test later on after your two year, two years here. But this is a great program to go into if you're going to be a head teacher or an elementary school teacher. And then what's listed on this slide are all the classes that you would need to take for this program. What's really unique about the program is that you actually get out into the public schools your second semester. So your first semester, your general education classes, which that's how it is across the board in all the state schools as well. Um, you take your gen ed classes. And then after that, you really dive into your major and we really dive into it and get your 20 hours of observation done uh, your second semester. And then again, in your um, third and fourth semester, you get to go out and it's really excellent because you get a lot of hands-on experience with this, with this program. Okay, we can move to the next. Okay, so the next program I'm going to discuss with you is the Child Development Associate Certificate. So this is still based on the NACI standards and um, it is a nine credit program. Go ahead to the next slide. So it's called Child Development Associate Certificate. So this is not a degree, but this is a certificate. And this is um, where you would take the three most important classes um, getting into working with children. So this is for someone that wants to be a child care worker, a child care provider, um, work in a daycare facility, or um, a before and after school program, um, or a nanny in a home. So you would have the three classes are called Intro to Early Childhood Education, um, where we really talk about educating children um, and the things that it's very up to date. And then the ECE 110, which is child development, where we dive into the milestones, the whole way from birth, the whole way to fourth grade. We talk about um, all the different milestones that children have in that class. It, that class ties very tightly to a psychology class, but in um, the child development form. And then we have the ECE 140, early childhood environments, where you would learn about setting up the most beneficial environment for uh, a child to um, succeed in. So this is a nine credit program and it is something that you could use in a home-based or in a daycare facility that's already developed like a local daycare um, around. We have mom's house, we have the learning lamp. Uh, they, those would be like facilities that are already um, established and then home-based would be more the nanny um, thing where you have an agreement with a family. So the, this is really good to educate you in working with children. It's nine credits, so it's not really vigorous. It's three um, classes. So um, then there's the diploma, and this is for someone, this is a 32 credit, so it's a little bit more rigorous. It's um, a diploma, so if, if you're working in a daycare currently, or that's the field you want to go into, if you get the diploma, um, you have a chance for a higher pay raise in in the um, daycare program. So you can go ahead down to the next slide. So the diploma is a little bit more vigorous. Like I said, it's 32 credits versus those nine credits with the first certificate. Um, so you can see the, the list of classes. You're gonna get some general education classes. You're also gonna get ECE 198 is um, observations. So you're going to actually get out in the field, get your 20 hours of observation. I would think if someone sees that you have this child development diploma, that they would um, consider you as possibly a um, lead teacher assistant. You could help out that way. So you could be a child care worker, a provider. You could also be a lead, lead teacher assistant in the program. So, cause you have this educational background. Um, so it's not an associate's degree, it's considered a diploma. And then we'll go ahead to the next one. So now this is what I was referring to at first, the child development AAS. This is a full associate's degree. This is for someone that says, hey, I wanna work in the daycare, I wanna open my own daycare, all right? So go ahead and scroll to the next. Um, in this degree, you um, get 40 hours of observation in a daycare facility, um, not all at once. You do it over an increment of 10 weeks, you do two hours a week, and you get out there and observe so you can see what happens over the months of time. Uh, and then you do that again in, a in your fourth semester. So you're gonna do it in your second semester and your fourth, very similar to the early childhood 
um, associates. So um, you're going to do your gen eds and then you're going to do your child development um, associate classes. So the only difference between this, this associates and the early childhood associates is that you don't have to hold that 3.0 grade point average. And if you're really sure you don't want to go into the education field, like the elementary schools, you want to stay with the daycare facilities. Then if you're sure of that, you want to go for the child development associates. That's where um, you want to go. They're both excellent, excellent uh, degrees to go into if you know you want to work with children. All right. Very good. Is there anything else, Morgan, that you wanted to cover on the program specifics before I talk in general about other academic resources that we have? Sure. I just want to um, like reiterate the importance of getting out in the field um, early on. I love that Penn Highlands gets us out in the field our second semester. So the first semester you have your gen eds, then you're out in the field, you're doing hands-on things. I know I mentioned before that um, I've been in the field of education for 12 years um, in public education. I taught kindergarten, first grade, third and fourth. Um, so I have that experience that I really bring alive in the classroom and I bring scenarios and ethical dilemmas and things into the classroom that someone without experience in the field and working in it, coming into the program, wouldn't be able to really bring to the table. So I love that I'm able to challenge our students with those, with those um, experiences that I've had and see, uh, find outcomes and solutions. And I love doing experiments and hands-on things and actually mock lessons, impromptus, um, really getting the students very comfortable with, with being an educator in today's world. Um, so I really do love learning from the students and I love that um, they learn from me. Um, so we kind of, we work together really well and I love the small class size. Um, that's probably what I love the most, Chris, is the small class size, um, just being able to really hone in and help someone um, with what they may or may not be struggling with. Um, I like to really work together and learn from each other. So it's, it's just, um, it's an awesome place to work. I call it heaven on earth. <laughs> That's awesome. And I completely agree with you. Uh, it, it, it definitely, you, I know a lot of people look into a community college because of the tuition rates but uh, most will find very quickly that the Penn Highlands culture is very positive. It's very student focused. And we have awesome faculty like you uh, who, who are the experts for those fields and create an awesome learning environment. And so, you know, the example that you mentioned, not only the curriculum details, but getting into the classrooms at such an early stage uh, is, is a really, is a really strong thing when you're evaluating different programs that are out there, you know, for people that are looking to get into early childhood education. Right. Uh, some of the other resources, some of the other ways that we can help students find success, maybe, maybe outside of the classroom, or at least not from the content of the class itself are listed on this slide here. Uh, we do provide free tutoring for pretty much any subject. I know we focus a little bit more and we have consistent tutoring available for math and English courses, but if there are students that struggle in any particular subject, they can always reach out to the Student Success Center or any staff member at any location. And uh, we will do our best to either find a peer student, you know, a peer tutor, like, you know, one of the students who successfully completed that class, or of course we can get them connected with faculty so we can make sure that the student gets any additional help that they're looking for. Uh, and I'm sure you've seen students do that from time to time, Morgan. Right. Yep. Uh, we also have uh, tons of research resources and uh, just information available through our library. The actual library as is in Richland and all of our students are welcome to go there anytime. Uh, but we also have tons of resources online and even at the centers when students are looking to grab a book from the library, I, I've seen students make a request and uh, the, the book will get to the, to the location that you're attending uh, and you can use that book and, and um, of course it's, it's always good to use other resources other than the internet so we like to promote that as much as possible. Um, Another way that we like to help students, we have an ADA specialist. 
and um, that's disability services. So if you have questions about that, accommodations, things like that, let us know. Uh, we're happy to answer those questions and happy to get you connected with him. His name is Michael Lucas, and he, he does a great job uh, helping students come up with uh, individual game plans, you know, if, if they do have any um, accommodation requests. Uh, Chris, I, uh, I, have a, I have quite a few students that do utilize Mike Lucas, and it's great. I'm very used to adapting my education. I did it. You have to do it. When you go into education, you adapt your education all the time. So it's something I enjoy doing. It challenges me as well. So that's something that um, I actually look forward to, working with Mike Lucas. He does an excellent job getting everyone the things that they need. Awesome. Yeah, that's good to hear. Another program that we have is Keystone Education Yield Success. It's, a, it's called the Keys Program. And it is based on eligibility, but uh, that can provide further resources for some students. And uh, you know, if, if you have questions, if you feel that uh, you, may, you may be at need for, for such resources, resources as a laptop, for example, uh, let us know. Uh, we can always look into your eligibility for that. But, even at that rate, we have computers at every location where students are able to come in and take advantage. Once you get accepted to the college, you're able to log into any computer that are in the computer labs or maybe outside in the, in the lounge areas, uh, and, and you're able to, to work on, on your materials. Uh, we also have free counseling here at the school. Bridget Hall is also from that Student Success Center department. And she is also an awesome resource and she'll talk with you about anything. If there's anything that's concerning you or troubling, uh, she is there for you to make sure that you're, you're comfortable and you're moving forward. Um, it's just another extension of that environment that we have where um, we wanna make sure that you're successful. And, and sometimes just talking with somebody about any challenges that you have uh, outside of the classroom uh, um, or even inside, um, she's there to talk with you about those things. And then finally, smart thinking is, is more of like a 24 seven uh, tutoring support service that we have access to. I've heard students using this at like 2 a.m. when they're trying to maybe get a little bit of assistance on a paper uh, for proofreading and things like that. But yeah, lots of, re lots of resources outside of smart thinking too. Students do get a Microsoft 365 account uh, along with having access to the Adobe Creative Suite. So, you know, there, there are a lot of things that you'll be able to get inside and outside of the classroom. Anything else to add to that, Morgan? No, I think you covered the grounds. Cool, all righty. And again, everybody uh, out there listening, if, if you have any questions about what resources th that we have, that's what we're here for, um, you know, to answer those questions. So just give us a call. Uh, finally, I like to talk a little bit about the next steps. So, uh, you know, if, if you're just looking into this program, if this, if this seems like a good match, uh, I would encourage you to come visit us and look around, take a, take a deeper dive into the program, talk with one of us, uh, certainly get your questions answered if, you, if you're still uh, curious about some things. And uh, if you're interested in the school in becoming a student, your next step would be applying to the school. Uh, it doesn't take long, it's free, it's on our website, and uh, we can certainly walk you through it, but you'll just need to click on prospective students and you'll find the apply now button. Once you submit your application, that will notify whichever location that you are looking to attend, and we will reach out to you and of course talk with you about your goals, talk with you about your options, and, and work on a nice game plan for you. And, um, and then we take it from there. We don't have any essay requirements or application fees. Um, it's a pretty simple process. Um, we're also here for you to work on the financial aid process as well. We can walk you through the FAFSA. We can, uh, at any of our locations, we can get you connected to the right people to answer whatever questions you have about, about uh, you know, tuition and financial aid and all those things. Uh, but ultimately, yeah, we're, we're here our staff, our, our admissions and student uh, services staff are here to help you become a student um, and, and come up with a good game plan for your success. Okay, so uh, that's all I have at this point. Um, what I'm gonna do is uh, we'll put up 
uh, Morgan's contact information here. And then we also have Sherry Slavic, her contact information as well. She's another one of our awesome faculty for the early childhood education and child development programs. Um, she is one of our associate professors and Morgan is one of our instructors. And um, yeah, anything else to add, Morgan? Um, no, I think you covered everything. Um, I just thank you so much for having me. Thank you for joining us. I appreciate it. Uh, the next thing we wanted to do is, is introduce a couple graduates that we have from these programs where we wanted to maybe get a little bit of their perspective as well. We have uh, Janelle with us as well as Nevin. And uh, we just have a few questions to ask you as well. And uh, Janelle, we'll start with you if you could share a little bit about yourself. Hi, my name is Janelle. I went to Central Cambria High School and I was in the Early Childhood Education Program. Awesome. And how about goals? What kind of goals might you have in mind for yourself at this point? Um, I want to eventually continue to get my bachelor's degree in education and after that get my master's. In the meantime, I want to work with kids and help them to have bright futures. That's fantastic. I like that a lot. And then Nevin, how about yourself? Could you could you share a little bit about yourself? Yes, my name is Nevin McIntosh Higgins. I graduated from Blacklick Valley High School. Um, I majored in liberal arts and sciences at Penn Highlands with a concentration in early childhood education and child development. And um, when I'm done with Penn Highlands, I'm actually going to IUP in the fall to obtain a degree in human development and family sciences, where I'm going to obtain a degree to become a certified child life specialist so I could help kids in hospitals and help them cope with their diseases and a new way of lifestyle. Very good. Okay. So um, first, first question I wanted to ask you guys, Janelle, we'll start with you first. Can you share a little bit about your experience while you were with Penn Highlands, um, just to kind of describe uh, what students get to do and, and some of the things that you liked about the school? Yeah, so some of my favorite things about school was hanging out with other students. Um, a tip I have mm -hmm. for other students is you really get involved with the college. And you have so much fun. Um, you get involved with your classes too. These professors in education are awesome. They're willing to work with you. And um, I always had a fun day whenever I went to school. I would go back in a heartbeat if I could with this program. That's awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that, Janelle. And Nevin, how about yourself? Could you share a little bit about your experience with Penn Highlands as well? Yeah. Um... It was, I'm not going to lie, I was very nervous at first, but I feel like everybody's nervous like the first week. I didn't know where any of my classes were, but I had so much guidance and help throughout Evansburg. Rob and Brittany were just great throughout the whole experience, and they opened up like clubs for us to join, so I got to, I had the opportunity to be the vice president of the student activities club, so I had a lot of volunteering opportunities throughout my time at Penn Highlands. I got to um, work with kids. We got to do sheets for kids. We got to help other kids do things. And we also had the opportunity to do like observations throughout our time at Penn Highland, such as teach lessons to uh, Central Cambria Elementary School. We got to teach at Cambria County Christian School. So um, it's, a, it's a big resume builder to start off at a community college. The professors care about you. They want you to succeed and they want you to be prepared for that four-year university to get your bachelor's degree. Awesome. Yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad you both had a great experience with Penn Highlands. And of course, you know, it's, it's a great school to go to, but it also takes your, you know, your effort as well uh, to make it a great experience. And that's always a good reminder for students coming in is that, you know, it, it's always what you make of it, but um, you guys did a great job uh, making it a good experience too. Um, next question is, uh, if you could maybe talk a little bit about the program, you know, the, the early childhood education program and, and the different classes that you studied, if you could tell us a couple different things that you thought were pretty cool about those programs. We'll start with you, Janelle. So a couple of cool things that we did in the program, like Nevin said, is going out to observe, um, really got to like interact with the kids and got to see them in the learning environment. And we got to kind of pretend to be teachers in the classroom and it was fun and 
we got to be the students too, so it was kind of fun to goof off in class and make be a little bit of a troublemaker for our friends. Um, another cool thing is at the end, you make a portfolio. And because of all this COVID stuff, we had to make an online portfolio that showcased all of our work that we've done at Penn Highlands. And I, I just got a job at a daycare and I showed them my portfolio and they were blown away because no one's ever showed them anything like that whenever they first interviewed. So that really gave me like a step up and kind of showcased um, how like hardworking I am and how um, how cool Penn Highlands was to kind of set me up like, or t to give me guidance for that. That's awesome. That, that's a great success story there. And yeah, certainly the, the project that, um, you know, the class had for you for that portfolio was, was helpful, but it was also the effort and the, and the thoughtfulness that you put into that project that I'm sure helped you get that job. So nice work. That's really cool. How about you, Nevin? Uh, how, what are a couple things about, you know, the classes and the program that you, that you worked on that you thought were pretty cool? Well, um, one of the biggest things that I really liked throughout the program are like the lesson planning experience and like to write lesson plans. I feel like you have to be pretty creative for this field. And if you have a creative mind, and this is definitely the field for you, you have to, we got to write lesson plans and then you get to map them to state standards. And then you also like have to dress up to teach these lessons to the kids and you have to have all your materials ready. So it's just really creative and fun for someone looking into something that pertains to that. And we also got to do a lot of observation, like I said, for example, we went to Cambria County Christian School and we got to teach science lessons to an actual group of students. And then we also got to go to Central Cambria um, and we also got to teach two lessons to students there as well. So it really boosts your confidence when you actually go into the field because we needed 20 hours of observation in order to complete one of our practicum courses. And with like other universities, it's a lot lower um, than that. They need like five hours. so. To be able to get like 20 hours and be able to be a part of other kids education that you're helping them is just like a great experience overall. Cool. Okay. Thank you very much, Nevin and Janelle. I appreciate that. And you know what, there's one, uh, there's one final question that I, that I just thought of. I think it would be, it would be helpful for our incoming students to maybe get your perspective on. Is there any advice that you would give them now that you've done our program? you know, for someone brand new coming into the school, what do you think you would, you would want to advise them on doing? Start with you, Janelle. I would say um, to get involved with clubs and your classes and to not be afraid to try new things here. Uh, presentations and meeting new friends might seem a little scary, but I guarantee you'll have a lot of fun in the end. Nice. And how about you, Nevin? Um, if you're like nervous or scared or uh, like worried about anything like the first week or even the 15th week of classes, you can always just like talk to somebody. There's always someone there to talk to. We always have front desk receptionists, uh, make friends. That's what's going to make your experience completely worthwhile. You know, your classes, you're going to have an hour or two in between other classes and just use that time to like go to the lounge, get a feel for the environment and just make friends because it'll make like a permanent impact on your life and shape like who you are. So. Wonderful, wonderful perspective from both of you. And uh, it's, it's you, you two are both great examples of success stories with Penn Highlands and, and specifically these educational programs. And so um, I appreciate you sharing your, your experiences, and I'm, I'm sure the students and parents listening to you as well are, are, are appreciative. Um, so I just want to thank you for joining us. Uh, for everyone out there who, who is, uh, you know, listening to this, this on-demand webcast, if you have any further questions about the programs that we have, about the process, uh, please reach out to us. We're happy to help you to get started on, on your journey as well. Uh, but until then, we will talk to you later. Thanks for joining.